had a shower instead of a bathtub. And I enjoy relaxing in the tub. After a 12 hour drive. Especially after a 12 hour drive. But so far, today the trip's been very, very good. Very uneventful, knock on wood. Let's hope it stays that way. I'm not staying behind any 18 wheelers today. Today or ever? Yeah, today or ever. What did the uh, windshield guy say? It could have been a pebble flew off his wheel, flew up. <laughs> he said that he's actually seen because of the high speeds here, pebbles break off of the wheel and bounce and the wind just catches it and slams it into a windshield. He said anywhere between half the windshield and up. He said ours is, was not the worst he had seen. He's actually seen it where a pebble has shattered the glass. Just shattered it. So at least we were lucky on that part. Yeah, but he also said he never saw one splinter off that quickly either. No, he said that was kind of unusual because usually whenever they crack and they just spider web out, it usually takes at least a few days for it to start spreading. And he said it was really unusual and really deep to be able to spread out that quick. So... We got the new windshield. We had to. Uh, did you tell how lucky we were if they had order? We'd be there till Monday. Yeah, they said this was the last, well, the only windshield like this they had in stock, period. If not, we would have had to find a Chevy dealership or wait till Monday before they could get it in. Well, I imagine a Chevy dealership would have charged us twice as much. Probably. It would not surprise me at all. Oh, yeah. I, I still think it's funny he called you lucky and you're sitting there with a busted windshield. <laughs> That's really lucky. Yeah, well, at least it was lucky that it didn't cause us to wreck. Well, but, yeah, in a sense. But like the girl said that I spoke with in the shop, she said that, um, Something bad happens now. God has a greater plan. Something could have happened yesterday. But she said, God Two must have miles. something wonderful left. Interstate right, right ahead of us. Southbound. So I'm hoping it's this property. I'm hoping everything works out from here on out. Or, might be a good lesson for all the YouTubers out there. Don't follow large trucks uh, stay 50 feet behind them when you're going 75 or 80 miles per hour too yeah maybe it'll save someone else from getting hurt who knows who knows why it happened yeah only God knows so. but hopefully everybody will understand never be close to an 18 wheeler ever So, but we are going uphill. We've been going uphills, down little valleys, then back up. So, after one half mile, keep left. Well, it's hard getting used to the two-hour time change. Yeah, the time change keep has left. threw us off a little bit. Because back home, it's already 8.30. But we're going to be stop. Well, we should be stopping at the Salt Lake. Yeah, we already said that. You already said that. And Follow. we Interstate will be taking video. US so everybody out there can see just miles. the way it is. How I've always heard that it was beautiful. So... We've already told them that. Well, 
I was just This morning when I was videotaping it, I told her that. Well, I'm recapping. <laughs> I don't know. We need some hot coffee. Oh, yes. I need a B8. Wow. I could have had a B8. We have had no fruits for three days. We're not used to not having fruits and vegetables for this long. So, we're going to stop at a gas station pretty soon and get left a V8 and coffee. What a combination. <laughs> Caffeine and vitamins. Well. The breakfast of non-champions. The breakfast of travelers. Definitely. So. But. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Now we show everybody in restaurants eating and stuff. That. Takes a lot of time out of the. You're going to a restaurant. You're going to be spending an hour. So I'd rather spend that time traveling. Than sitting in a restaurant eating. Well, not to mention, it costs more if you just pack ahead, it saves on time and money. Yeah. After one half mile, or left, whip through a fast food place. Westbound, so that's always quicker. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can stay at home and go to a restaurant all day long and eat. If you're yeah. traveling, I just want to get where I'm going and be there to spend time in that area instead of spending all my time stopping at restaurants for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Follow You're looking at three hours a day if you would stop three times. Towards Salt Lake for yeah. miles. And if, even if you spend $20 each time, that's $60. Yeah, $60 can be spent on a lot of other I mean, my gosh, going to a museum or something. Anything. Yeah. Well, thank God I got a frugal wife. In some things. Well, in most things. I am a cheapskate. I do my research before I do anything. Before I buy anything new or... Or anything, so... It's starting to get beautiful again. A lot of RV parks out through here, too. Yeah. Well, that's an idea. Maybe we'll be able to find an RV rental down here to take on the property. Oh, dead antelope, it looked like. Yeah. Or, I don't know if that's an antelope or what. That's what it looked like. <clears throat> I hate seeing stuff like that on the side of the road because it does make me feel bad. But we should be getting to Utah very shortly. I think we've got about 15 minutes, if that. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and continue driving, and I will talk to everybody later. Goodbye. Okay, it's on standby. See everybody later. <laughs>